All right, this is Tennessee Intercourse Practice Test for Algebra 1. Uh, this is question number 40. The question says the table shows the 2008 U.S. first class postage rating uh, for packages of certain maximum weights. So we have a nice little table there. These are the maximum weights, and here's the postage rates. It says the pattern in the table contains which... Uh, the pattern in the table continues. Which value represents the postage rate of a 13-ounce package? So it tells us that there's a pattern anyway. I'm going to extend this out just a little bit. 11. I'm going to do it down here. 11, 12, and 13. That way I have a visual cue that it's the correct answer. Sometimes it's easy to get lost in the calculator, so it's nice to actually be able to do that. Now they say, they say there's a pattern, so I'm going to figure out what the pattern is. First thing we're going to try to do is see if the pattern is based on adding numbers. So the difference between these two is 17 cents. If that's the difference between the next two, it is very likely, yep. So look at 270, and it continues to go up by 17 cents. If subtraction didn't work, I would try uh, divide, to, and then I would know that I keep, I'm adding 17 cents every time because I subtracted to get to 17, so I just add 253 to 17 to get 270. So I'll add 17 more cents to 270 to give me what it would be at 11. 287. And then I add 17 more cents. 304. Then I add 17 more cents and get 321. So the answer for number 40 should be H. Now, if you want to get this right every time, you have to make sure that you see there's 2.87 right there. Uh, so the answer to G was 2.87. Well, that's the first thing we got. That would be our 11th. So the thing that really goes wrong in this question is twofold. Number one, you try to do too much in the calculator without having a visual representation. I mean, it's just one test and it's untimed, so take your time. The other is that you just do one more. Well, this one doesn't ask about one more number in the pattern. It wants to know what 13 is. So extend the thing, uh, extend the pattern out, write the answers down. It takes like 10 seconds to do it. Not a big deal. So then you can get those right every time.